But and, is there any research done on what type of mate a woman is likely to cheat on? That's a good question. We know that affairs are very costly for women. So if discovered, infidels result in violence. Sometimes they result in killing. But also women suffer more than men. If an infidelity is discovered, they suffer reputational damage, social ostracism. And so the issue is what benefit could be so great to a woman that she's willing to risk all, the, all these costs if it's discovered, if there's a, a large discrepancy between the woman's regular part and her affair partner in terms of the quality of his genes. Masculine features, symmetrical features. Do women change their preferences when they're ovulating? Because it's only in that narrow window of ovulation that she's going to be getting the good genes. Do they change to prefer more masculine, more symmetrical features when they're ovulating and then go back to their normal preferences? And the initial studies suggested, yes, they do. 